Hey YouTube gun people, I want to do a review today on um, this chronograph. Why a chronograph? Well, I think if you reload, you kind of need one. This is the um, Pro Chrono Chronograph. It's the Pro Chrono Pal. So it's kind of the cheaper one. There it is. Uh, and you can measure your shot velocity, and that's important when you reload. Uh, because <clears throat> you need to know uh, what the velocity of your shots are so you can make power factor for instance and just to make sure that your loads are working out right if they're matching published data etc. <clears throat> so here it is here's what this thing looks like right here Pro Chrono Pal step up here and uh, try to take you through it so what what this does is you stand back about 10 feet or so and you shoot through these two shades and you break beams of light I guess that come out of here and it measures how fast it goes from here to here and makes the calculation for you here from the back to the front, from the front to the back rather and uh, what you can do is um, shoot a string like a five shot string of course, I'm not shooting anything here in my in my basement, but you can hit this review button. It'll give you a shot number. Sorry, low, average, and the number of the shots. So if you did a shit six shot string, you'd get six shots. Uh, and tell you the 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 velocity of each shot, and then you can get a low, an average, and a high. Okay. So this is a, a really piece a uh, useful piece of kit if you're a reloader really uh, good to have if you shoot IDPA and you reload for instance or any of the any of the um, uh, practical pistol games you kinda wanna find a happy medium where you have um, sort of the, uh, the the lightest load that meets power factor and shoots well out of your handgun uh, same for rifle too uh, you can use this for archery and anything anything else you want. Now, let me show you something about archery. Now I got uh, we're getting ready. We're doing some hunting bow season, so a lot of my buddies are interested in chronoing their their arrows. I don't know why, but they are. So um, yeah, right here. Lent this to one of my buddies. Hey, dude, can I borrow your chronograph? Yeah, sure. For what? I want to see how my arrows are doing. All right, good, good. Uh, are you sure your bow's set up right and everything? You're not going to shoot my chronograph? No, no, dude, no. Yeah, brand new, brand new. This is an arrow. Wham. Gives it back to me and says, uh, I think I might have hit the chrono just once, but it's still working okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, good times, good times. Um, a word to the wise when you're using one of these things, you got to set it up on a tripod or a table about 10 feet away from you and shoot your string. Um, there's all kinds of things in terms of making sure your powder's right. So you got if you're really uh, totally into it, you'll record the temperature. Different powders will burn, uh, be affected by the temperature. So if it's really hot outside, they'll burn hotter. If it's cold outside, they'll burn a little bit colder. That's not such a big deal. But a big thing is to actually tilt up the firearm to get the powder packed down by the primer when you shoot it so you um, will get every last uh, foot per second out of your shot to see if you make power factor. Really nice instrument. Uh, you There are some caveats to it. You don't want to use this in direct sunlight. In my experience, if this is it's a bright sunny day out and you can't shoot in a, in a shady area, this particular model does not work very well. Okay, so that's a thumbs down, that part of it. Otherwise, I believe it's fairly accurate. The loads I'm getting seem to be, uh, the, the results I'm getting seem to be uh, what you would expect from reloading manuals and um, uh, based on uh, what other people are, are claiming they're getting. So a shot timer, uh, really, really useful and I think actually necessary if you, if you are in fact a reloader. Um, there's lots of them on the, out there. 
Uh, you can get them with all the bells and whistles. You can get them that download the information to a computer. You can get them that uh, will print out the information. I don't think the average uh, shooter or even not so average shooter needs that. Uh, you just uh, can jot it down in a notebook uh, and, and keep track of it that way. Uh, it's made by Competition Electronics. There's their website. Again, I think it's a good shot timer. I mean, not shot timer, excuse me. It's a good chronograph uh, with the caveat that you can't really use it in bright sunlight. And um, otherwise, it's, it's uh, pretty much bare bones. But I think it's accurate, and I think it does the job pretty well. I'm, uh, overall, I'm very happy with it. I did get one. I bought this through Midway USA, I believe. I did get one that uh, did not function at all. And it, you know, it wasn't it operates on nine volt batteries. That wasn't the issue. So I don't know what was wrong with it. Sent it back. It kind of operated. I did some shots with it, but it would uh, keep giving me. Um, I was saying every shot was the same exact velocity, which makes you know made me really happy in that boy. My reloading is super accurate, but um, then sort of thinking about it. Um, I was like, yeah, it's not that accurate, right? And uh, I and just for the fun of it, changed uh, changed changed uh, rounds, went to a hotter round, and I was getting duplicates. So, got a defective one. Don't know why, but um, otherwise, I have to say I'm fairly happy with it. Uh, it seems to be durable. You can shoot them with arrows. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can see the uh, the actual case has been dislodged. You know, that's where he hit it with the arrow. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. The same guy wanted to go is going on a hunting trip and wanted to borrow uh, my rangefinder, which is like, you know, it's a six hundred dollar rangefinder, and I was like, uh yeah, no. Uh, I think we're we're taking a little time out on borrowing. Um that's about it. Uh, word to the right wise. Uh, <laughs> when your buddy says everything's set up, can't miss. Um, yeah. Right. Can't miss, right? Never. We never miss. All right. I hope you find this useful. It's a useful piece of uh, uh, to have in your in your shooting uh, equipment. And um, if you reload, I think it's really a must. Otherwise, you just have no idea how you're, what, what speed your shots are flying out at. And um, that's about it. So you got to calculate that speed, calculate those power factors, and also set up, you know, do some long distance shooting or, you know, at least 25 yards with reloads to make sure the bullet's not, um, uh, not tumbling. So you get a nice clean hole in the paper, for instance. Uh, if it's tumbling, you either have a problem with your cramp or you have a problem with the loads not sufficient for your barrels rifling, uh, something like that. You need to go back and, and re-examine things. Okay, I'm out.